I'd like to talk about the alternatives to organized public school. I, uh, I saw a lot of uh, amazing things, bad things, in my uh, three months working in a public school, an elementary school. Some things I, I don't even want to talk about. Um, basically, you're sending your children to be with strangers most of the day. Um, nobody is going to protect your child as well as you can because you care, because it's important to you. It's not just a job. Um, when I first started uh, at the school, almost a thousand students there, only one school resource officer there. I mean, how can one person protect almost a, a thousand students? Yes, they they had gates, iron gates, not too tall, maybe maybe six foot gates, and they locked. But uh, one day when I was doing, um, let me see, what do you call that? Uh, school crossing guard duty in the back. I got there at 7.14 a.m. I was the only one there. And there was a branch uh, holding the gate open. So I don't know if some teacher uh, went in the front way like they're supposed to go in the morning and went in the back and put a branch there for whatever reason to keep the back gate open which is a de quite a deserted area uh, so those are the kind of things that happen in fact I have a picture of it I might uh, send it out to my subscribers um, we did an Alice drill that's where uh, we're supposed to simulate if there's an, a violent intruder, uh, the kids and the teacher, they're supposed to get down on the floor and, and hide. The uh, storage room in the classroom was so full we couldn't fit in there. So the kids hid behind the teacher's desk. You could still see them there. And a few kids were able to hide under a, um, a table. Um, I couldn't fit you know, there was hardly any room, so I just, you know, knelt on the floor near the table. And um, we had to stay quiet and not move, not make any noise for, it was about 10 minutes. And of course, you know, the kids are fidgeting and they're making noise, they're tapping their foot or they're moving around and, the, you know, and which was making the teacher very nervous. And, and after the drill ended, you know, she she reprimanded them saying and she said to them you know in an angry way you know if there was a real intruder outside we all would have been dead now because of that noise you were making so this is a kind of one of the types of stress that the children are under there it's not you know happy fun school days uh, you know, like it was when, when I was in school in the 50s and 60s. And another thing I was looking up online, um, I found this on the uh, insider.com website, which is a, um, a worldwide news organization. And um, they were listing all the, uh, many of the famous people who were homeschooled. So I thought I'd read you a few of them. Uh, one is Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb. One is Teddy Roosevelt, who was our 26th president here in the United States. Agatha Christie, a famous author of mystery novels. Alexander Graham Bell, the man who gave us the gift of the telephone. Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman judge on the Supreme Court and uh, someone who um, three brothers who modern people would know the Jonas Brothers who are pop stars they were also homeschooled and Serena and Venus Williams uh, the Olympic medalists they were homeschooled also of course there's many more but uh, I just thought I'd read you a few. Now, 
I, I have some ideas about the difference between homeschooling and public schooling for the times we live in. You know, it's not the 50s. It's not the 60s. When you are home, there's less of an, a chance of having an intruder. And if there was an intruder in your house or at your front door, um, you're allowed legally to have weapons in your house to protect yourself. Only one person in the public school is going to have a weapon, and that's the one deputy. Also, there's plenty of places to hide in a house. Plenty. And there's plenty of things in the house you could use as a weapon if you had to. Now, in the school, let's, let's talk about COVID-19 a little bit. At home, you can, you know, have your windows open and have fresh air. You can have a humidifier. These are things that lessen the concentration of the virus in, in the indoor air, according to the CDC. Now, in the schools now, because they're so afraid of possible violent intruders, they have the blinds closed, windows shut and locked, and so there's no circulation of fresh air, and the kids are basically, you know, in the class most of the day. Um, so if you're thinking, well, if everyone did homeschooling, what would you do with, with all these school buildings? That's easy. There's a, a real estate problem now, a shortage of, of places for people to live, affordable places. Turn all these schools into low-cost apartments or condominiums. And if you're thinking, well, what about all the teachers losing jobs? Well, just because people are homeschooled doesn't mean they don't need teachers. They need to go to the homes, you know, like every six weeks or every semester or every month and see how they're progressing. Because, um, you know, there are laws about homeschooling. You can't just, you know, teach whatever you want. The, the children have to be, you know, learning how to read, learning how to do math, etc. So... These are just some things to, uh, to think about. Um, I still, I, I repeat, I don't like the idea of strangers taking care of, of people's children. Um, think about that. Don't you read on the news sometimes uh, what some teachers are doing? You know, um, you know, not just male teachers, but also female teachers. Um, there, there's so much to worry about and it seemed when I was there that the priority of the teachers is to keep their jobs and keep their in income now at home your prior priority is going to be that your child learn and grow and mature and that they're safe there's just a big difference between a parent and a stranger right I mean, how many heroes are there in society? There's a few, but not everybody. So please think about these things. I know it's a hassle, but uh, everything is hard unless you get, unless you get to um, understand it and practice it. And once you know how to do something, even homeschooling, then it's easy. It's no big deal. So I just... Uh, hate to see things continue the way they are and you know you I read you this little list the people who are homeschooled and um, think about it <laughs>